now we can configure eagrp protocol to router 0 router 1 and router 2 let's we can configure router 0 the syntax for configuring eagrp is router space eagrp space asn autonomous system number the range of asn is 1 to 65535 in that range we can give any value that value can be same for all the router here i will give 100 the direct connector network is 0 24 and 28 that can be configured into router 0 network net id 200.200.200.0 network 200.200.200.24 network 200.200.200.28 no auto summary no auto summary command is used for support both classful and classless routing exit now we can configure into router 1 router space eigrp 100 because in router 0 we can give 100 so that value can be same value can be given to router 1 and router 2 in router 1 the direct connector network is 8 24 and 32 that can be configured into router 1 <coughs> network 200.200.200.8 network 200.200.200.8 24 network 200.200.200 sorry 200.32 no auto summary it supports both classful and classless routing now we can configure into router 2 router space eagrp the autonomous system value is 100 the direct connector network for router 2 is 28 16 and 32 network net ID is 200.200.200.16 network 200.200.200.28 network 200.200.200.32 no auto summary using that command it supports both Classful and classless routing exit. Now we can configure EAGRP protocol to router 0, router 1, and router 2. Let's we can check the configuration. The configuration can be done in global mode. The configuration can be shown in privilege mode. So we can go to privilege mode using that command exit. Show space IP space root. Yeah, here. C can be indicates direct connector network. Direct connector network is 0, 24 and 28. That can be mentioned as C. And D is an EAGRP. That is an indirect connector network. That means 8, 16 and 32. So 8, 16 and 32. Let's we can check. Network 1 can be communicated to network 2. In network to PC4 IP address is level. We can check that connection. Go to the command from ping 200.200.200. Level. Yeah, it's working. The connection can be established between the network 1 and network 2. PC1 can communicate with PC4. Let's we can check network 1 to network 3. The PC6 IP address is 200.200.200.19. Ping 200.200.200.19. Yeah, it can be. We can replay from that host PC6 200.200. 
now we can connection establish between no network 1 network 2 and network 3 now we can share the data in that in between these three network 